Welcome back Wolfpack, Rillis here and this is how to use Blossom. So I think the best way of comparing Blossom is going to be through Vileplume. Now when we look at its stats, it's going to be effectively the same, except instead of having 110 special attack, it's going to have more defenses. So it's weird, when you look at Vileplume you think, that's going to be a tankier Pokemon. And when you look at Blossom, it's like, oh that Pokemon's going to be fast and maybe hard hitting. But actually the stats are kind of the opposite, Blossom's the tank. That was weird to say. Anyway, you know, Blossom does not have too much on the speedy side. Doesn't have too much on the offense, but if we play around that tank, you know, grass typing with that leech seed, with Giga Drain, they are known to be kind of sustainy. At the same time, grass itself is super, super frail. Like, I mean, look at the weaknesses. Flying, poison, bug, fire, and ice. It's going to make it very hard to be a tank, because a lot of things are going to want to hit you super effective. And now, you know, since fairy types are common, poison is a lot more common. Bug, still kind of out there. Fire and Ice are very... Like, all those weaknesses are fairly common. You do get four resistances, but I feel that the trade-off is not enough for a tank, and it does create some problems. But again, you have the same, so you want to be a tanky Pokemon. It's just weird. Up being a Pokemon Showdown, we can look at some example sets, because Blossom, it's kind of all over the place, because it doesn't have enough true defense to become an absolute, like, tank that you can fall back on, but it can set up pretty well. And then when you look at its offenses, as we already saw, it's not going to be able to run away with the offenses, but it can still deal a decent amount of damage. So I was thinking is if we invest in that tankiness and just go for that Sleep Powder. Now, Sleep Powder does have 75% accuracy, which I am not a fan of, so I was actually wondering, what about Zoom Lens? If you go last in the turn, which shouldn't be hard because of the slow speed, and if you even want to take it on to another level, you can go on Assassin Nature, that way you have absolutely the lowest speed on the field in most situations. That way now your zoom lens is going to proc on your sleep powder. And sleep powder I think goes up to like 92% accuracy. So that actually becomes tolerable. It's like a rock slide or a play rough at that point. So now sleep powder is looking reliable. With all this tank investment, you are probably in a 3 hit KO range. So that means you can throw out the sleep powder. Now they're asleep. Use a Leech Seed, use a th Synthesis. If they still stay, stay asleep, you have a turn of doing Moonblast, then you just get them in a Sleep Powder loop to where they can't one-shot you, so they're going to go to sleep, and now you have a Moonblast and a Synthesis to heal up. So hopefully by the time they wake up, you're at full health and you've done some damage to them, and it can work out like that, but you know, a lot of Grass-type Pokemon are going to want to do this. I think that this is just a different set because I don't really talk about Zoom Lens too much because normally I'm trying to stay away from those low moves and like leftovers or something would feel good. But if you have Leech Seed and Synthesis coming your way, you might as well just be going for that accuracy because if Sleep Powder misses, you're in trouble. And Zoom Lens says, well, you have a better chance for it to not miss. So I think that counts. And then when we look at some other things, I think Velocim is also going to want to be a doubles Pokemon in Trick Room. Because, I mean, again, Trick Room with that low speed. We just talked about it. Well, now we make you one of the faster Pokemon on the field. And Blossom has some really cool supportive stuff. One of the few Pokemon to get Teeter Dance. One of the few Pokemon to get Grassy Terrain. And one interesting combo that people not, might not know about is Grassy Terrain plus Secret Powder means that that move is going to have a 30% chance to put your opponent to sleep. So here's how I see the first turn. Grassy Terrain and then Trick Room. If you get that set up, you're in a good position because now you can use Teeter Dance or and Protect or something like that. Or maybe just... Protect and then Teeter Dance on the first turn to try to make your opponents confused because Teeter Dance confuses all Pokemon on the field. So if you have an own tempo Pokemon like a Slowbro trying to set up a Trick Room, you can just combo it out right there and you don't need to worry about the Protect. But if you have like a Aromatize or another Pokemon that's like a standard Trick Room Pokemon, you might want to have that Protect. You might want to have a Lumberry or something like that. That way you don't get confused. And now your setup is looking really good. Both of your opponents are confused, you have Trick Room set up so you're fast, and now you have ga Grassy Terrain so you have a 30% chance of putting your opponents to sleep with a decent offensive attack. Now while 80 attack isn't the most insane by most means, but I mean if you hit two back-to-back -back Seed Bombs, that's going to be Stab, that's actually looking at putting your opponent close to KO range, that if they hit, they hit themselves, you hit them with two Seed Bombs, well that's probably a KO, and depending on the Pokemon, that could work out really well. Also Seed Bomb works against Rotom. And it's just going to be a nice thing to carry, but you can also kind of take this on extra levels depending on how you want to do it. Uh, Blossom also is one of the few Pokemon that gets Petal Blizzard. So, I mean, Blossom has a lot of really good moves that very few Pokemon get, but the stats kind of hold it back, but we can still make it work, which is why we're throwing it in doubles. Petal Blizzard, again, hits all Pokemon on the field. Now, this can combo, like, with that Protect, this can just try to make it to where you're trying to do as much damage to as many po opponents as possible. So, my first thought was Sap Sipper. Sapsipper is going to be really nice to pair up with, so if you have another tankier Pokemon, Go Goat. Um, Sapsippers, they aren't the most offensive Pokemon, but I mean, giving them free stats while hitting both of your opponents can actually work out pretty well. So, Go Goat works out pretty well. You can have Girafferig. Girafferig gets Trick Room and Sapsipper. 
even though it doesn't have the greatest stats, it is a combo that if you really want to use Draft Ring, Draft Ring Bl Blossom does have some decent potential if you don't get immediately blown up, because now you get all this crazy setup, and your opponent can't stop you from that point. So it is something to consider that, you know, Draft Ring is viable in this situation. And then, you know, Go Goat saps over Pokemon. Also, Go Goat's a Grass Pell Pokemon, the only one if Grassy Terrain is activated. Oh, cool. We can use that. The Pokemon's defense goes up by 1.5 times, and also the base effect of Grassy Terrain is Grass Moves get a 50% boost. So I mean, if you have Grassy Terrain, you're throwing out Seed Bomb, you have Grass Pelt making your Go-Go tanky, or if you're using the Sap Super Go-Go, there's just damage all over the place, and that's kind of what Blossom is trying to set up. Other than that though, that's really all that Blossom is going to be capable of, it's just going to be some kind of stally, sustainy grass type Pokemon, but I do like the Teeter Dance, that it does have some disruptive capabilities as well. And it can do some pretty cool things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's how you use Blossom in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And I hope you all have a nice day.